What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best welders 2022, that are available on the market, I made this list based on my personal research, if you would like to see more details on these products and the updated prices, please check out the description below and be sure to subscribe to get more reviews ok, let's get started with the video. Number 5 with a surprisingly low ticket price and a weight of just £12, at first glance the Decapro 110-120V MMA welder might appear to offer little to the serious welder. However, the output range of 10 to 160 amps will handle up to one quarter inch mild steel. With the right welding rod, it's possible to work on aluminum and cast iron, too. The unit will run off 110 or 220 volt power and, as with all stick welders, it operates indoors or outside. An included fan cools the welder and helps keep dirt and debris away, a useful feature when transporting the unit or welding outdoors. With its straightforward function, there is no gas to set, just a single dial to adjust current. It might not be the welder for delicate or precision work, but it's tough to beat for portability and for basic home, agricultural, or job site use. Number 4 TIG is often the choice of professional welders because of its clean, precise welds. This versatile 200 amp machine from AHP also offers a stick welding function for outdoor use. The ability to weld up to 3 8 inch thick mild steel suggests high power demands, but switchable voltage, from 110 to 220 volts, enables usage of a standard outlet. Impressive control reduces the risk of burning through thinner material. This model weighs in at 69 pounds so it's not the most portable welder. But a maximum output of 200 amps and a duty cycle of 100% at 150A provide the performance required for commercial use. It also has a foot pedal for amperage control, a valuable pro-level feature that's rare on machines in this price range. Number 3 the challenge with low-budget welders is finding one that doesn't limit the variety of jobs it can do. That's not a problem with the Forney Easy Weld 261 model. It can weld up to one quarter inch mild steel, so it's a match for many larger and more expensive models. Easy to use voltage and wire speed dials provide good control over weld depth. This is a physically compact welder that weighs just 19 pounds. The welder can run only flux core, not gas MIG, but that puts few limits on general repair and fabrication tasks. It also means it can work indoors or outdoors with access to an ordinary household outlet. Number 2 At 140 amps, this is the strongest MIG welder that you can plug into a standard electrical socket. Unless you want to do major electrical surgery to your home, drastically raising the price of your welding hobby in the process, then this welder is probably your best bet. With five different levels of voltage selection and a wire feed speed range of 40-700 IPM, the Hobart 500,559 has all the adjustability you need to dial in the perfect weld. The amperage can be set from 25-140, giving you great control over weld depth. Able to weld up to one quarter mild steel, this welder will be more than adequate for most hobbyists and enthusiasts. The five-year limited warranty shows how much faith Hobart has in their product. The only drawback to this welder is its rather hefty weight. At 57 pounds, it's still portable, but you'll probably want to get yourself a car if you do a great deal of welding on the move. All in all, this is still one of the best all-around welders of the year. Number 1 This multi-process 200 amp welder from WeldPro offers MIG, including flux core, TIG, and stick welding in one machine thus providing excellent versatility. For beginners, it offers the ability to learn almost all forms of welding with a single purchase. It also enables contractors to offer solutions for a variety of client demands. Given the comparatively modest investment required, it is a strong value. With a maximum 200A output, the WeldPro has plenty of power and will weld from 24 gauge to 1 quarter inch mild steel. It can run off the 110 or 220 volt supply. Both MIG and TIG torches are included, as is a MIG gas regulator, although the TIG version is extra. 
The durable unit also has a dual digital display for easy reference. Thanks for watching guys. That's all for now. I hope you guys like this video. If this video is helpful to you, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Hope to see you guys in the next video.